hello and uh, welcome to this uh, video uh, my local radio club uh, is planning for a field trip a field operation day and um, as a newcomer to this hobby this will be my first ever field day so i thought of preparing myself uh, with a list of items so that i don't forget anything and i would be able to have a successful field operation day I've listed some 30 items here and I thought let's make a video and uh, put it on YouTube. Maybe it will help someone, uh, some newcomer like me. And also if I forget something or if I miss out something, uh, then please help me by putting it in the comment section below so that I will arrange for that item and I won't miss on it. Uh, so let's get started. So the first item on my list uh, is the choice of antenna. Uh, I will be using an inverted V dipole antenna for 20 meters. The reason is simple. Right beyond, beyond this wall is an inverted V uh, dipole for the 20 meter band. I'm using it right now. In my last video, I had shown how I tuned that antenna. So I'm pretty used to tuning an inverted V dipole. And since this is my first ever field operation, I want to go there and I would like to tune an antenna which I'm used to. So I will gain some confidence um, out of it and I won't have trouble in tuning an unknown antenna which I've never tuned before. So the choice was pretty clear to me since this is my first ever field operation. Uh, I would be using an inverted V dipole for 20 meter band. For that purpose, uh, the wire elements that I would be choosing uh, would be this polycap wire, uh, which is uh, 2.5 uh, square mm and it's black in color if that matters. So uh, the choice of antenna will be 20 meter inverted V dipole and uh, the wire element that I would be using would be 2.5 square mm. So we have uh, chosen the type of wire that we, we will be using as antenna elements and we need to cut uh, this wire to correct lens so as to tune the antenna. For that purpose, uh, we would uh, require a measuring tape and so uh, one should definitely not forget uh, to carry uh, a measuring tape the next item that would be very important is the center mast for the inverted uh, v dipole uh, my choice uh, would be a uh, tripod uh, that is used in photography as a light stand uh, this tripod when fully extended is of 14 feet in height and my plan is to add another five feet or so uh, with the help of a PVC pipe which would be attached to the uppermost segment of the uh, tripod. This will serve two purposes. One, it will increase the height of the center mast and the other would be it will provide some kind of isolation uh, between the um, wire elements and the center mast. Uh, in fact, what I did was I simulated uh, uh, this antenna in MMANA software. I will show you here. Um, here you can see that I have constructed uh, this uh, inverted V antenna. The, uh, each element of the antenna um, is about 5.069 uh, meters. Uh, since we will be operating on 20 meters, uh, 20 meter band, uh, the center frequency chosen is 14.150. Um, we are using a center mast of uh, about 18 to 20 feet and so I've considered a height of 5 meters uh, from the ground. Uh, the material chosen is copper wire. Now with this uh, configuration, if we simulate uh, the antenna, uh, you can see that uh, we are getting a very low SWR of a 1.09 uh, 
here you can see that the lowest of point of antenna uh, which are the extreme ends of the wire elements will be at a height of 2.4 uh, meters from the ground uh, we can also check the plots uh, the SWR curve and we can see that uh, the SWR at 14 and 14.3 is about 1.25 uh, the lowest SWR is 1.09 at center frequency of 14.15. So, uh, this antenna would uh, definitely work in the field. So, uh, the next important part is the centerpiece of uh, the inverted uh, V dipole. And uh, like I mentioned earlier, uh, here you can see on the screen, I will be using a PVC pipe which is of 5 feet. Uh, and it will get attached uh, to the uppermost segment of uh, the tripod. Uh, here you can see a, a very simple centerpiece that I've made. Uh, the wire elements of the antenna will get attached to these synthetic strings and uh, uh, the connections from SO239 uh, will be soldered to uh, the wire elements. Now uh, this PVC pipe uh, will get attached uh, to uh, the tripod uh, using the hose clamps. So I will be using a couple of hose clamps or maybe more uh, to attach the PVC pipe uh, to the tripod. Okay, so uh, the next uh, item on the list uh, is uh, guy wires. Uh, the height of uh, the center mast is about um, 14 feet of the tripod and plus 5 feet of uh, the PVC pipe and uh, in uh, conditions where there is wind uh, there is a chance that the tripod may topple and we need to have uh, some kind of arrangement to support uh, this system. So for guy wires I would be using uh, some strings these are synthetic uh, strings they are quite tough so for guy wires uh, supporting wires I would be using uh, these synthetic uh, strings okay so the next important part here is uh, the uh, the choice for coaxial cable now uh, I've been using LMR uh, 200 uh, for uh, HF uh, bands uh, at my QTH I also use it for VHF and it has been it has been uh, serving me well uh, so my choice of coaxial cable uh, will be LMR 200. This is a 20 meter uh, uh, cable right here, and uh, uh, that will be my choice for uh, the coaxial cable. Uh, the ne next item on the list uh, is SWR meter. Now uh, we would be tuning the antenna at the field, and uh, so for that purpose. Uh, uh, for tuning purpose, I use uh, the Nano PNA. Uh, if you have seen my last video where I tune a 20 meter inverted V dipole, I've used the same Nano VNA uh, and I will be using in the field also. Uh, this will be for uh, tuning the antenna. Uh, but uh, while we are operating, while we are transmitting, uh, we would uh, need to uh, check the SWR live. Uh, so for that purpose, I am going to use uh, this SWR power meter uh, called as Nisei. Uh, the model number is uh, DG503. Uh, so it will show uh, the forward and reverse uh, power and also it will show the SWR why we are transmitting. Uh, the only drawback of this meter here is uh, that it requires its own power supply. Uh, 12 volt power supply but uh, that's quite all right uh, it's 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 a great meter i i have uh, used it uh, very much at my qth and i will be using the same one uh, um, at the field uh, so speaking of uh, powering the devices i would be using uh, the excite 7.5 ah uh, battery uh, this would power up my um, radio and also the SWR meter which I talked about earlier. 
So uh, that's about the SWR meter and the battery. Uh, we would require the SWR meter to be connected to the radio and for that purpose we would require a patch cable and uh, so uh, one should always remember to carry the patch cable uh, for connecting between the SWR meter and the radio. Uh, next is the choice of the radio. Well there is no choice as such because uh, I have only one radio for HF and that's the micro BTEC. So I will be operating QRP uh, during this uh, free uh, day. Uh, so the choice of radio is a micro BTEX, uh, which would be uh, used in the field. Uh, what's next? Uh, we have covered the battery. Um, now the micro BTEX uh, would be powered using the battery and uh, I would have to carry this power cable. Uh, so uh, this end goes into the radio and the other end where alligator clips have been installed uh, would be used to connect to the battery terminals. Uh, now since uh, it's a field day I would have other uh, friends who would be operating and there could be a lot of human noise around uh, and it's possible that you would not hear uh, the radio especially the weak signals uh, very clearly and for that purpose uh, it's it would be good to carry uh, a set of headphones uh, so that you can even pick the weak signals very clearly. Another item which can be easily uh, forgotten is the microphone of the radio. Right now it's connected to the radio but when you are carrying all these items you may remove it and uh, may forget uh, to take it to the field. So the microphone of uh, the radio uh, should be definitely carried. Now uh, once uh, we are operating, once we are uh, making Q QSOs, uh, we need something uh, to log those contacts. It could be a simple simple notebook like this um, or many people um, who are like to log their contacts uh, online and for that purpose I may use uh, this Acer netbook. It's a very small uh, netbook and uh, I've been using it for more than 10 years and it has served me well. So uh, you can use either a small notebook or the uh, the netbook. Actually I have a, a very nice uh, diary or, or, or a notepad. Um, the cool thing about this is that at the at the end here it has got a external battery bank it's uh, 5000 mAh and it has got all the cables uh, with which you can charge uh, your mobile so I may use this uh, in the field as well definitely don't forget to carry a pen if you're logging your contacts uh, in, in, in a notebook so uh, uh, I would be using SSB mode uh, on the micro BTX, but there may be um, you know, there may be people who would like to uh, operate the digital modes, and for that purpose, uh, one should not forget the digital interface uh, along with its uh, cables. Uh, I am not going to use uh, uh, digital modes on the field. Um, in fact, I am building a digital uh, interface for the digital modes. But in this field trip, I won't be carrying. But people who want to use digital modes, uh, uh, please remember to carry the digital interface and the cables uh, along with it. Another thing that is uh, that is quite obvious is to carry your amateur radio license with you. Uh, so what I've done is I have uh, this uh, license holder along with a lanyard, uh, and I will be carrying that. Uh, to the field so uh, definitely don't forget that um, the next thing uh, that uh, will be required is uh, we have all this equipment and uh, we need a place to keep it uh, keep uh, all this equipment on and for that purpose uh, I will be using uh, a setup like this uh, this is a small uh, foldable table and a foldable chair 
uh, this uh, the height of the table can be easily adjusted uh, and uh, uh, this chair uh, can be folded uh, so both of them can be folded and it is very easy to carry it in a, a car so um, something to sit on and something to keep all your stuff on uh, should be considered uh, during the field there uh, now whatever uh, tools that would be required um, need to be carried uh, so for example uh, a screwdriver set so i have something like this a simple screwdriver set um, which uh, would be required uh, to do all kinds of adjustments or uh, or anything so uh, a tool set would be definitely uh, required uh, to be carried uh, the second thing is uh, insulation tapes uh, these are required uh, on uh, on any field operations so uh, they are worth uh, carrying uh, another important thing that i use uh, is, uh, is cable ties so these are eight inch cable ties and i have a complete pack of it so uh, these are i use them in every application and i uh, i cannot live without this when i'm doing any kind of uh, diy thing so uh, i would be carrying cable ties uh, they are definitely very useful uh, on the field uh, wire cutters or strippers uh, something like this um, uh, maybe a scissor uh, a wire stripper uh, a plier a plier or uh, a big screwdriver all these things would be necessary uh, on the field uh, one thing that i forgot to mention is uh, the tent pegs uh, these are used uh, to anchor uh, the wire elements um, uh, attached to a string uh, into the ground uh, they would also be used uh, to attach uh, guy wires and that would be grounded so uh, definitely uh, uh, carry these uh, they will be very useful uh, in the field operations uh, what else a multimeter uh, definitely this will be required to check continuities voltages currents whatever uh, so uh, definitely uh, need to carry uh, multimeter into the field uh, other things um, like uh, caps and sunglasses and uh, water bottles some food uh, if people are sensitive then use sunscreen uh, mobile charger um, and uh, uh, other things that one would require uh, uh, during the field operation should be carried so these are just my thoughts these are the uh, things that i have listed down uh, maybe I have missed something and uh, please let me know uh, if uh, I have missed anything uh, that would be required and I will arrange and uh, take it as well. So uh, if you have liked uh, this videos, uh, give it a thumbs up. Uh, consider subscribing to uh, my channel so that you will come to know whenever uh, I upload uh, new videos. Also press the notification bell. Um, and thank you very much for watching. Uh, do stay connected. Thank you very much.